I shouldn't, hold on. I shouldn't be making this video. But for whatever reason, I, I still am. I am an extreme cheapskate. I love being cheap because I like the zeros in my bank account. I basically run a successful business. I have a mobile food business with the hot dog carts. This is my trusted friend here, Mr. Wiener. When I pull out my wiener, that's when the magic happens. You need to find a way to reword what the fuck you just said. Everybody wants to take a picture. Everyone's going bananas over this thing. So if I'm a little slow, I pull my wiener out, and there it goes. So I'm not revealing porn, but if somebody hears this conversation, they may say otherwise. I'm just, I'm just really having trouble figuring out why you're wording it like that. I'm sure everybody does want to take a picture with you and your wiener. That's when the magic happens, because usually, fucking innuendos, I swear. Mr. Wiener, that's, that's fucking original. Good job with the name, original. My husband I would haggle anything, anything and everything, whether it's a necessity or something that I may want or he just wants, he haggles anything. If you can make that right there, 343 in the tank. Oh man, I don't know if I, we can do that. I mean, 350. 350, okay, we gotta deal. All right, man, take care. What a selfish son of a bitch! To put this man in a position to where he's like, yo, I can't do I can't do that man. I can't do it and you're still being persistent trying to get him to make a decision He can't just control the price of gas. You know this though, but you don't give a fuck. Do you listen? I pay for gas, okay? It sucks, okay? Especially with my shit. Me is 17 miles to the gallon. What the fuck? I'm always out and about so you can you can imagine how much I am actually putting in to this But I'm not gonna go to the cashier. Hey, how you doing? Um, quick question for you yeah of course what's up okay so the gas outside says 354 now i'm gonna be real with you it's a long shot but can you make it a little less can i can i give you a little bit less money than that what an asshole let me get uh two bigger burgers and uh two chocolate shakes please 1164 i'm fresh the window thank you 1164 how dare you charge me 1164 bitch <laughs> this isn't gonna go well at all 1164 correct let's just how about let's just get rid of the 64 let's just make it 11 dollars even did you want to take off a shake or a burger or no, no no let's keep everything going okay well um yep it would be 1164 then let's just take 50 cent off and let's just call it 11 50. 50 cents uh... How about I throw in some extra ketchup and salt packets in your bag? How about that? My God, I am never taking you out anywhere ever again. I just want to know how many fights they've been in. Over money. She went out, she spent $5 on a burger, a shake, and fries. They had a deal. What a crazy fucking deal. And he, like, promises to beat her ass if, he do if she does it again. Bitch, I like the zeros in my bank account. Who the fuck you think you are spending shit when I could have haggled that and got it for two bucks? You bugging. When Abdul haggles, I think to myself, this is one more store that yet again I cannot go in. I you can't go in those stores again. Right here. Yep. Don't always look at the price tag. Um, excuse me. Just want to talk to you a little bit about the prices. Mm. Do we have any wiggle room with this, uh this jacket here. You know, we do try to price our things at a really good price. Mm -hmm. But what I could do is give you a $10 off. How about another $5 off of each item? Um, because you are new, mm -hmm. I will do 20% off. So that's, so we're doing a $10 off of each item? No, I'll do a straight 20%. That brings it down to 327. This next part, I'm kind of embarrassed, like, for her. So I bring my good friend Rick along. He wants to put this anniversary together for under $25. I'm like, you're crazy. You, there's no way you're going to be able to do this. I know what stuff costs. It's not going to happen. He wants to spend $25 on an anniversary for him and his wife that he, his wife that he also loves and cherishes. He stood at the altar and made vows. It was like, I love you, I'm crying now. The guy next to them was like, yo, y'all love each other? You know what I'm saying? You say I do, you say I do, fucking kiss and go. That's just my idea of weddings. Preachers, they really don't give a fuck. They're like, I just want to get paid um, and go home. I don't need to stay for the party, none of that shit. Scratch how I think weddings go. He did this whole process 
for somebody that he genuinely cares about with deep in his heart. So, oh shit, I left a cup in here. He wants to spend $25 on their anniversary. You can't dig in the pocket. It's different if you don't have the money. But you said you have zeros, multiple zeros in your bank account. Pull some fucking money out, get her a nice gift, and ball the fuck out. It's an occasion. Dick? I don't think you can do it. I know I can do it. $25. It's not going to be a very good one. It's going to be a great party for $25. I guarantee you we can pull this off. Rick really has never shot with me, so he never knew how I haggle or knew that I haggle at all. So I'm sure Rick is going to be surprised today. I have a strategy when I go in his store. Oh, a strategy. He has a, he has a fucking game plan. He has a plan. Let's see what it is. So the guy had some discounted balloons. It's the thought that counts. 10 to $12. 10 to $12? Huh? <sighs> hmm. I, I can check and see if I've got any clearance balloons. I've got a couple laying around. I can see if I've got something. Clearance? Uh, I'm just totally embarrassed. We're up there at the counter, and it's this balloon is $2.99, and he keeps haggling this guy down. And you fill it up with helium, right? Is that what you do? Uh-huh, okay. yeah. What if we did, like, three-fourths of helium? Well, then it's probably not going to float. I am no scientist. None of that shit. My lights are falling. Get the fuck up, you non-sticky piece of shit. I'm no scientist, or whatever you call it. But even I know, if you don't put that, the less hu the less amount of helium you put into a balloon, the less it is going to float. Over time, it seems it tends to do that. And from experience, I fucked with balloons when I was little. Helium balloons, once they floated, I used to always walk, run around the house, just bouncing them, throw them up, trying to catch them and shit, hit it with my head and whatnot. I'm like, mom, look, and she's like, sit the fuck down. So I know this from experience. Let me give you an example. The more love and the more thought that you put into your wife, probably the happier she'll fucking be. Um, so air is cheaper than helium. Air is cheaper than helium. OK. Now, if we if we did all air in the balloons, what are we looking at? You'd probably knock a couple dollars off, maybe make it 7 or $8. Dollars. If you do something a little simpler. Yeah. Something with air. Is it oxygen free? We breathe oxygen every day, but I have to pay this guy for his oxygen? No, I'll use my own oxygen. It's not oxygen. It's not oxygen. Sure, do we breathe out a certain amount of oxygen? Oh. Oh, yeah. Of course we do. It's just how the human body, you know, <sighs> does shit. But I'm not gonna get into the sweet science of it. I'm just gonna let you know that it's not as simple as one, two, three, ABC, oxygen. It's not that, okay? I'm gonna take these flat, like this. Uh, you have any more discontinued, or is this this? this well, oh, I had I had one more, but it's just a police car. It looks like. Oh, now that's now that's cool. It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't say anniversary. You don't want no police car Look, on there, do you? It's all about laughter, man. I'm yeah. sure this right here was okay. right a few laughs. So I walk into this store very confident, thinking I'm gonna get this cake for my wife. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do it. I need a cake made. Okay. Uh, today, uh, having an anniversary party for my wife. About six people. Okay. We have our 10-inch round. It serves between 10 and 15, um, and that's $29.99. I'm kind of on a budget here. OK. You know? And I'm not trying to insult your business or anything, but is there anything I could do to probably make that a little bit less than the $29.99? But what if you were to take that frosting off, but with the cake, what would it be? Just a bear cake. The frosting is all included in that price, so it's kind of like buying a car without the wheels. Yeah, what I'm trying to do is cut this cost a, a, what, a lot more. What is your budget? What are you looking to spend? $25. $25, OK. Um, let's see, but we do have. That's for the whole party. The whole party. See, even she knows. She's looking at you like you're crazy, because you are. What if I were to bring some of my own ingredients? There's health code not. You can't. We have to purchase everything. So I'm throwing all kinds of options at this lady, and just nothing's working. Did you think that it would? He's like, he's, he's actually upset. I'm throwing all kinds of options at her, and just nothing's working. Obviously, because you're throwing in health code violations. Uh, can, can I bring my own stuff from home, and you guys? No, no, they fucking can't. You should have thought about this, because you had a year to prepare. Usually anniversaries are celebrated at the year mark, sometimes. Somehow we need to make this cake $7. 
at the end of the day, I'm sure you guys don't use all your materials with your flour and things like that, and I'm not picky. So what if you use some of the leftover ingredients and put that in the cake? You're killing me here. Hey. We do have another option. Okay. We have cake pops. Cake pop. What, what does that look like? What is a cake pop? It's layered cake, frosting, cake. Okay. Those are $1.50 a piece, so you could get six of them. Frosting, sprinkles, you're going to get everything that a cake would have. Is that made with leftover ingredients? Yes. OK. Could we get that to about 75 cents? Surprise! <laughs> you guys. It looked like an awkward, like, he has a crush on her, but she doesn't. Like, your marriage really shouldn't be like that. Once your woman walks into the door, especially on your anniversary, your woman walks into the door, you go down, because you're, you're taller, some of you. Most of you have women taller than you, and I don't get it. But you grab your your woman and lift her, and you walk her to the shit. You say, mate, like my anniversary, hold on, because my anniversary is, I'm not inviting you over. Like my friends, we're not gonna celebrate. Oh my God, it's their anniversary. I'm by myself, motherfucker. You gotta be fucked up. I ain't inviting nobody, because you're not gonna watch what the fuck I'm about to do. I am looking at what you've done for me. <laughs> Why are the balloons kind of hanging from everywhere? That's an interesting right story. Here. Here's the deal with that. Mm -hmm. They have a shortage on helium. <laughs> a shortage on helium. No. My eye's stuck. No, did you see that? My eye just got fucking stuck. Oh my god, I got scared. I was like, I can't see. <laughs> um, no, they didn't have a shortage on helium. You had a shortage on money. Fellas, listen. It's different if you don't have the money. But if you have the money, take some money out and spend some money on your woman. You know what I'm saying? It's a nice occasion. And it's good to save money. Listen, it's always good to save money. I like to save money even when I'm rich. I'm going to save money. There's just certain occasions that you got to take some money out for. It's a luxury. You know what I'm saying? And you got to enjoy that luxury. Enjoy it. You got the money. Go do it. That's the end of this video. Go ahead and give it a like. Go ahead and subscribe for me. And your boy gone.